Wow. Okay. Come on back on, Israel. Come back on. Come back on, Israel. They took me off. It just took, it just went blank. It just went blank on me. So I'm back on. It went blank on me, y'all. Everybody, please come back on. All right. And you, Prince. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I got the brother on. Shalom, Prince. Shalom. Before you speak, let me say something. No, go ahead and make your open statement because I really want to say something before you really start going in. Okay, Shalom, Bahasham, Yahuwah, who is Israel? This is Tribal Minister Nasik, Shalom, Dean, Ben Ami, Motazari, I'm Ben Yasha Allah, Senior, founder of Hebrews, Life, Sovereign Nationalism. Just got off the slave. Turned on the Facebook, seeing the drama you was bringing. I say, oh. shit. Let me, I say, shit. Let me get involved real quick because, you know, there's no disrespect to nobody, but there was many inconsistencies in that, that man's statement. There's definitely a lack of understanding of Hebrews, white, sovereign, nationalistic culture and thought. So I'm here to address some issues, but I'm going to go ahead and let you make your statement first. And then from because, there, because, you see on right. the sever the dome. My statement is this. This is my statement. I gave that brother every opportunity, right? My brother in the spirit, right? Every opportunity to speak, and he spoke. So I'm asking everybody, because everybody called me the bad guy. Now, you're on this channel, and you have free reign. And I'm not, and, and, and please don't hold back. Let it out. I'm saying no, let no. it out. You know what I'm gonna do. You know I don't play no game. I'm ready to get straight to the point. Go get it. Let's get straight to the point. Let's get straight to the point. One of the major problems in the Hebrew is my coach is a lack of Hebrew understanding of grammar, culture, anthropology, archaeology, paleontology. We keep saying that this is the so-called white man science, but let's correct a couple of things. First and foremost, when you see certain scriptures about Solomon, when it talks about him being ready. Look, I got it right here in the Hebrew. It is not defining color at all. It's not. So okay. I highlighted, I highlighted right here in the Hebrew for you. Okay, I highlighted it in the Hebrew. These are the two words right here that they're mistranslating. Okay. The word in the Ivrit is it is uh tazak wa. Adoran, meaning vibrant and manly. So when it says in the King James Version, for my beloved is white and ruby, in the Hebrew text, it would be properly translated for my beloved is vibrant and manly. It's talking about a characteristic, a personality of Solomon. It has nothing to do with his skin color. Nothing at all. So people running around trying to like, you got them dudes, ancient watchmen. You got all these different cats trying to justify the color of the Israelites being who they are, a melanated, dark complected people. We got to stop with this madness. Now, one of the statements was said that you can't find the Hispanic seed all over the world. Said I will scatter you all four corners of the earth. What we know for a fact, we're talking scientific fact. We're talking about observation when we're dealing in science. When you check out the E1B1A DNA that's coming from West Africa, you can go all over the world and find this DNA scattered. The Negroes scattered all over the world, the so-called Negroes. You can clearly see E1B1A in Jamaica, Barbados, Haiti, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, Africa, Asia, Australia, all over. You find this E1B1A. And we know that the so-called Negroes' DNA is E1B1AE. 
And when you go to so-called West Africa, you can still see the Hebrew presence in West Africa. I'm giving it to you straight with no chaser. Hispanics was not moving around saying they was Israel until they was influenced by Negroes. Period. Mm. Period. Mm. We need to stop mm. lying. Even when you look. Now, let's not get this twisted. I'm not saying that there is an Israelite amongst the Hispanic populations because it is. But are the Hispanics as a whole Israelites the answer is absolutely not. Absolutely not. They keep saying about fitting the curses and they went through this and they went, come on, let's study the Aztec culture. Let's study the Piablos. Let's study the Wonkas. Let's study their cultures. And they still have cultural pride. When you look at the so-called Negroes, they ain't got shit. They ain't got no language. They ain't got no location where they at. When you, when you come over here to the state of Washington where I'm at, or you in California, and you deal with the Mexicanos that call themselves being indigenous of the land, you know what they turn back to? They turn back to Mestec culture. They turn back to Aztec culture. They turn back to Piablo culture. They turn back to Wonka culture. They turn back to all these different cultures that were already over here and have cultural pride and cultural expression. The so-called African-American to this day hasn't, as a unit, found themselves like that. But that's not how this is twisted. The man that was on the, the line early, he's right. Yes, many of the native, the natives over here did go through certain things over here. It, it sounds like it's going back and forth. No, you go. You hear echo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Now, the reason why yeah, I put it on because somebody called. Do you hear now? Yeah, now I'm better. See, a lot of people that talk on social media, you could tell the difference between real scholars versus scholars that learned on social media because most scholars or most Israelites that learned on social media are religious. Okay, they're 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 religious in nature. When they quote the scripture, they quote it. Hold on, with hold, on uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Prince, hold on, Prince. Hey, uh, Andrew St. Clayton. That's, uh, that's, listen, bro. that's Soraya's, that's Soraya's ex-husband, whatever he is. Hold on, let, let, me, let me say something. Let me, let, hold, let, hold, on, me, hold on, you ain't got to say, hold on, Prince, you ain't got to say shit. Prince, you ain't got to say nothing. Let me handle this, okay? Hold on, bro. If he showed your wife that, she shouldn't have showed it to you. She should have thrown throw in the trash. I don't care. I don't care. Don't bring it on my line. As a man, if somebody show my wife that, then I deal with that man he personally. He supposed to deal with it personally. Personally. Exactly. Don't bring that shit on his line. line. Don't bring it over here. Bring, don't before bring it over we, here. Before we start smacking the shit out of cats, like, you know how I get in my bag, man. I forget. Right, right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead with your lesson. Go ahead, go ahead with your teacher, bro. Don't bring it up. We talking about something totally different. That's just, you're disrespecting what we doing. If you got a problem with him, you deal with him, not me. This is my life. Go ahead, right. bro. Right. Come, come straight to me so I can air you out. So getting back to my point. Getting back to my point, what I'm saying. When you deal with most Israelites on social media, you can tell they're not astute. Most Israelites on social media only know the basic surface, okay, or of the basic surface, okay? They don't really have real knowledge of self. They know basic shit like Israelites are black, okay? How do you prove anthropological-wise that you are Israelite? How do you prove culturally that you are Israelite? How do you prove ethnically that you are Israelite? Okay, and these are the problems that Israelites are having all over the planet Earth. This is why you got people like Saad Meta, Polite. You got all these different type of people, Shaka Akmos, Garfield, different people like that, that claim that we don't have no scholarship. Why? Because most Israelites are dealing strictly with the 12 tribe chart or they dealing with some type of religious overtone like this clown like this clown that's coming on here 
with the religious overtone, letting the harlot dictate his mind. Why? Because he's dealing with religious overtones. Okay? Now, getting back to the point what I'm saying. When you look at DNA, everybody keeps saying DNA is flawed. Yes. DNA can be flawed. But when you start to talk about the prophecies of the scatter of Israel all over the world, right? You could take E1B18 and see the same DNA all over the world. All over the world. So with that in mind, we have to ask ourselves the question, how is it that we're able to take this DNA and find it all over the world and aligning it with history. Let me show y'all Right. This right here is for ancient watchmen. Because a lot of y'all cowards run after these guys, right? Like Kwana, um, what's the other boy named Ayash? Um, what's the other dude's name? Jose Vega or them, correct? Okay. Right. So let's go with some facts. We're talking about primary sources. We're not talking about, we're not talking about hearsay. So I'm gonna give y'all some primary sources of eyewitnesses that seen Israelites in West Africa, since people keep saying that there wasn't no Israelite presence in West Africa. Okay? All right. So right. we're gonna go into a book I'm reading right here known as pre-colonial black Africa. So we all page now. Somebody told you to block him. No, don't block him. Don't block him. Let him stay on here. Let him stay so we can hear the truth. Now, Sheikh Anti Diop, pre colonial black Africa, page 233. Listen, y'all. According to Tariq El Fatah, an Israelite minority also live in the bit of the Nidra. So let me explain first who Tariq El Fatah is. Tariq El Fatah was a citizen in Timbuktu in 1652. He was a direct eyewitness in Timbuktu. Now watch. According to Tariq El Fatah, an Israelite minority also lived in the bit of the Nidra, region of Tindorma and had made a speciality of cultivating vegetable water with fresh well water instead of river water. So we have an eyewitness that's the Israelites in the Niger Bay. We see right. we have an eyewitness. So you can't say that there isn't an Israelite presence in West Africa. Let's keep going on. Let's even go deeper. Let's go to E. Thomas Lawson, Religions of Africa, Traditions and Transformation, page 50. It says, many contemporary Yoruba have spent a great deal of time dealing with the questions of their origin. Some have gone so far to postulate a relationship with Middle Eastern countries. So let me tell you what's going on right now over there in West Africa. When you had the man by the name of Kwame, uh, Kwame Ntuma, when they won their independence in 1956 in Ghana and in Nigeria and these different areas, what they was doing was destroying what they was calling diffusionism. Diffusionism right. was the understanding of different cultures coming together and formulating another culture. So right. when these leaders start doing, they start wiping out all the elders that was teaching that we was Israel and saying like, no, y'all never migrated from Northeastern Africa to West Africa. You always been here. So this is why you have people like Garfield, Dagger Squad, all these different Afrocentric slash black conscious community so-called scholars that saying that we're not Israel. There was no presence of Israel, not understanding that those that are in power in West Africa, many of the West African countries, they severed what was called 
diffusionism. They saw right. what was diffusionism, and from there, now what do we have? Now we have people now saying, yo, we've always been here. We never left the confines of West Africa. So now you have this argument taking place. You have some Yoruba that say that they're from the Middle East. Then you have other Yoruba that say they from West Africa. Then you got certain Ashanti saying that they from West Africa. Certain Ashanti saying that they're not from West Africa. But the whole point that we do see in Africa is this grassroots movement all over Africa, all over parts of Asia, the rise of the Hebrew Israelite culture all over the world. Let's go even deeper. Let's not just stop right there. Let's get it. Let's go into this book right here by Nelson Mandela. It was written by Mary Benson, known as Nelson Mandela, the man in the movement. We gonna start at page seventeen. Watch. Come on, I hear you. Go ahead. Home. Go ahead. He, I hear you. Listen. At home, he Nelson Mandela, as a child, heard of more recent events not taught in history lessons of how in 1921 General Smuts, the Prime Minister, had sent an army which massacred 163 men, women, and children at nearby Warhart in the Eastern Cape. Members of an Israelite sect, they have refused to move from the common ground on which they were tipping. To back that up, I have here by Robert Edgar, the book, Because They Chose the Plan of York, on page one, it says, on May 24th, 1921, a force of 800 white policemen or army troops gathered at a place called Barhart, five kilometers southwest of Queenstown in the Eastern Cape. The government had instructed them to confront an African Israelite prophet, Enoch right. Yujima, and his spiritual group called the Israelites. When the battle was over, nearly 200 Israelites lay dead and many others wounded. We know this battle as the Bar Heart Massacre. You hear that? So we right. have all these countless Israelites throughout the continent of Africa and the Americas acknowledging who we are. Now, when you start right. to study the presence of the Hispanics being Israelites, me being in this culture for damn near 30 years, Maharqa being in this culture over 30 years, we all got numbers in. And we know for a fact that it was the so-called African-American experience that influenced the whole country over here. Like, for instance, when he was talking about the Brown Barrettes, and he didn't mention, but I mentioned them, you got what is known as the Young Lords. If you look at the Brown Barrettes and the Young Lords, it is a known fact. We're not talking hearsay. We're talking a fact. It is a fact that they emulated the Black Panther Party. Everything that the so-called Negro did, the Hispanic followed right behind them. They followed right behind them. So, right. Or like Ayash to say, and, 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 and Jose Vega to say, we not Israel, we the sons of Canaan. Well, that would disbar them from being Israel because I thought the northern kingdom supposed to be awoken by the southern kingdom. So my question now arises, well, who woke y'all up as being Israel? What you going to say, a curse to Canaan? This is why it's getting so bad with they side. They basically now saying that Yahweh is a demon god. This is what they saying. So when we sit back and really analyze things from an anthropological level, from a paleontological level, because we're talking about studying cranial remains, if you say that we were amalgamation of all these different looks, my question is, when you go to Lakash Israel, 
They found over 1,500 craniums, skulls of Israelites. And these paleontologists, are, uh, they're saying that these are Negroid people. Exactly. Hey, let me say something, Press, real about... quick. Yes. Press, let me say something real quick. And yes. I want all of y'all to understand this. This is an excerpt of a book, right? Before I name the book, it says, Cherry Preach. The white Jews were interpreters for frauds, right? It has right there in orange, saying they were frauds. Now, this is the original One West Doctrine, right? This okay. name of this book is called Black Zion, African American Religions I got that Encounters book. with I got Judaism. That. Yeah, I got, got that book. book. Now, this That's actually up. gives you the history of how it all started, and basically here in America, going back to Cherry and beyond, right, with the so-called One West Doctrine. Understand? And Damn. they only believe in uh, the Old Testament. I'm going to let you know Damn. that right now. Damn. Okay? Absolutely. So we have to understand what we're talking about here. You know? So when we look at, I'm sorry to cut you off, but when we look at what that, what that, what what the brother said earlier, or so-called brother, whatever y'all want to call him, right, said earlier, and I respect his understanding. I just think it was a little flawed, but it is what it is. He showed respect, so I'm respect. You know? Damn. um is that when you look at it in this book, in the ancient times, and the brothers bring about Israelites, everybody was black, right? And everybody was black is not Negroid either, right? Because I do my research, you kind of found the Phoenicians was here, right? The Phoenicians was Get here it. also, I think, before uh, Dennis Khan, if I'm not mistaken. But they were well, black. Khan, right? Dennis Khan came out. They came after the Phoenicians, but let, let me make this clear. There's no such people known as the Phoenicians. That is a Greek term that only means land of the palm trees. And it also defines purple. There are, there are okay, two names of what you know as Phoenicians. You have a group where they're being identified as Phoenicians, also known as the Pelagians. The Pelagians were descendants of Shem through his son, Pelag. And then you have another set of Phoenicians which is also known as the Northern Kingdom of Israel. The 10 tribes of Israel, when they aligned themselves with Jaime, King of Tyre, along with other parts of the Southern Kingdom, when Solomon made their triple alliance with Jaime, King of Tyre, along with Akhenaten. Now, Akhenaten wasn't a contemporary of Moses, but he was, in fact, a contemporary of King Solomon. This is why when you come to the Americas, you're finding three language systems over here. You're finding Hebrew, so-called Egyptian, and so-called Canaanite. Why? And I'm going to bring you on next, Don. Say that one more time? No, I'm saying, you know, Chris, you got all the time. I said I was, oh, okay. was going to bring Don on my hall next, but you got all the time, brother. You know that. Go ahead. Okay, so what, what I'm saying here is that, hold on, hold on. I'm here. I'm still here. That's my, that's my daughter. Hold on. Let me bring it on. Hold on. No, I'm going to talk while you're doing it. I'm going to talk while you're doing it. Let me Come say on. this, that everything we do is an edification. Come on. An edification and no bias and no myas. So um, I'm looking forward to certain brothers and sisters coming on uh, to edify, okay. you know, just to yeah. edify. Because we look back and what the brother was saying earlier to my, my first guest, and he's humble. Let's be real. He was humble. Um, yeah, he was. I think that, and he don't want to deal with uh, skulls, and uh, he don't want to deal with phenotypes. But we have to deal with that. We really you have, have to, to deal, deal with phenotypes. You, you have to deal with Go these ahead. things. We gotta, we gotta stop. We gotta stop this. Before I get into that, let me just backtrack, backtrack a little bit. All right. I said that there were three languages over here. When you understand the triple alliance that Solomon made in the Book of Kings and how he had a flute made, then you understand why he found the Ten Commandments known as the most loneliest inscriptions and in, 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 in Hidden Mountain in New Mexico. And Hidden Mountain in New Mexico. You understand the things that they found. You, you will understand if you go to the Davenport Stella, if you go, if you go to the Long Island Stella, if you go to these different Stellas, you will see why you will find Hebrew over here. Why? Because the Americas was a colony. 
these were these was a this was a colony that Israelites were navigating back and forth from the old world, which is the east, to the new world, going to Lake Superior, getting forced and bringing them back to the old world to construct temples and different things like that. So we as a people, we have to come to the realization that you have to deal with truth. You have to deal with truth. Hey, what's going on with you guys? It's been a minute since I've seen you. So now, getting back to the point as to what I'm saying, we're going to continue to have constant conflict when you start dealing with scholarship, the best scholarship that you can deal with. Hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. The brother who's on my team, right, and you're a young brother, so I want you to be very careful. You're on my team. You say, no, it's not. And I will give you a chance to uh, elaborate on that. What's, so if you do, when I allow this, be respectful. But uh, what, go ahead, what, Prince. What not, what, what, I, I got to make this clear, too. We have to stop. Ahead, letting, we have to stop letting foreigners dictate to us what our cultural expressions is. A lot of people, because I remember years ago, man, the Hispanics didn't even want to deal with being no Israelites. We gotta. We still gotta don't. stop letting. We gotta stop letting people culturally hijack us, man. Every time so-called African Americans and the Negroes throughout the islands put things together, it seems like. They take something from us and then turn around and say, we not them people. It's very insulting to come on Facebook to see that the Israelite community haven't ran these imposters off. You cannot say we the same people, but our happening groups are different, man. When you look at, uh, we got to keep this shit real. If you look at what we know as Pacific Islander history, they history go back to the Australian, man. When you hey, look at DNA makeup, it's the same. If you look hey, at Prince. The, the, say that one more time. Prince, Prince, let me you know what hey, you don't want me to block this guy, right? But this guy is very no. disrespectful. But 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 no. okay, I'm gonna bring you back on, but I want to tell I want I wanna say something to this nigga. So I'm gonna bring you back on real quick. I wanna say something to him because he's being too let me say something to him. You talk. You got your children on here. You're bringing out knowledge. And the reason why I call him that because he disrespected me, right? So I'm, he want to come on. And I, this, I'm going to bring you back on, King. Let me handle this, okay? Let me handle this. All right? No, don't, don't, let me, let me, don't cut the wisdom. If you want, if you no, I'm not going to cut. No, I'm not going to cut the No, what I'm going to do is shame the devil. What I'm wow. going to do is shame the goddamn devil. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you back on in three minutes. All right, do your thing. Three minutes. All right. Okay, come. All right, come on. All right. I just added you. Pick up. Now hold on. Before you speak. Before you speak, because I don't know you. I don't know you. Go ahead. All right, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak. Now, I know, now I'm going to clown your ass just for a second before we speak. Just for a second, right? Like I because said. I used to be a child, I used to go to McDonald's, and I saw a clown. His name was called Ronald McDonald. And when I walked in the door, he did the same shit you did was laugh. So let me say this real quick. Yeah, now, a little bit, let's little see bit. your intelligence. Now, let me ask you a question. What have I done to you? What have I done to you? I wouldn't talk if I were you. Trust me. I would no, not I talk. No, I said, about. what have I done to you? <laughs> what have I done to you? I'm asking you a question, young man. What have I done okay. to you? I don't know you. What have I done to you? I will. Listen, you, you will get murdered with this with disrespect. Mind your damn business. If someone's showing a oh, hold penis. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you speak, hold on, hold on. Before you speak, let me say something to you. Let me say. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't have anything to do with you. I don't know you. You ready to know me? Yes or no? 
Let me listen to me. Just calm down. Listen up. Calm down, brother. I don't know what you and the mighty Hebrew are going through. Oh, there you gonna get. He gonna go get his guns and show his shit. Go ahead. Because I don't know. And the sister is letting him do this. It's crazy, too. Now, let me say something to you. Before you start laughing, let's be men. Right? Now, let me say this. Uh, say, brother, let this? me say I'm going to cut you the fuck off. Because I want to say something to you. Is that a swear word? Brother, let me. You were saying a lot of stuff on the line. Let me say something to you. Yeah, Let me. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Okay, let me talk. Keep okay. Let me speak. Thanks let for me your speak. permission. No, it's all right, son. Okay, let me son is all right. Okay, don't worry. Let me, speak. let me say this right here. Let me now, speak. Okay. Yes or no? Listen. Hey, dude. I don't know you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. You came on my you line. You and the mighty you know. Hebrew. Listen, man. Number 23. Dude. That's a bull dude. number. 24. Dude. 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 You and the mighty Hebrew got a problem, right? Ahead, Don't man. you and the mighty Hebrew have a problem? Go ahead. Like I said, you, you men are okay, not doing anything for the brotherhood. Cursing about little okay, kids. Go ahead, go ahead, you men ain't nothing. You men are fake. Fake men. And over here cursing on live, man. Talking about kids and everything. How God damn you talking about that? You don't know anything. This man right there shows his wrath right to my woman. Okay, you can tell me that, but okay? can I say something first? Can shirt? I say something first? I'm not you do not I'm get not, with that. If you don't let me say you not respecting me, brother. Right now. I don't you even do know your name. Yourself, you only, what is your name? What's your name? What's your name? Can you tell me your name? I have a Hebrew name. I go by Peter. What's Peter's name? You have a Hebrew name. I said you have a name. Andrew Sage. Andrew. Okay, Andrew. Andrew. My Andrew. name is Kornoff Andrew. I I have, listen, brother, I don't have nothing against you. I don't have nothing to get you. You going to slap the what? You going to slap a what? Come on here, Queens. I can slap the taste off your face, man. I slap the melon off you. You going to slap my skin off. This man going to talk about me. You talking about me? You come on, man. Yes, you, man. Both here. You in that clown, man. Come on here, Queens, man. Dude, come on here, Queens. Let me ask you again. What have I, I done, done to you? You be next. Ain't that Brother, clown right there? What He's, have a I done? He's a pedophile. He like to beat his dick, man, for the woman. Am I a pedophile? Your head, man. I'll burn your ass, man. Am, I, your a am I a pedophile? Am I a pedophile? I don't know what the f you talking about. And you cursing, which is another of a word, man. That's why you got my house. No knowledge. You going like this? No though. knowledge. Hey, you know the F word, the word F word means thinking, which is the German word. What did the most I said? Let no crap communication proceed out your mouth. I will cut every you man up, man. I said this on top. That man right there, he needs to be rebuked. That's why the most I said in this cloud. I apologize, my brother. But at the end of the day, I'm a young brother, and I cannot be tolerated by ignorance. That man. Okay, now you said guy, that. Now let's let's let's, let's calm. Let's he, both he, us he, calm he, down he, and talk. Let's both. Hey, brother, he I'm trying record. to give you an opportunity. Uh, hey, listen. You know what? I understand you're upset. I say let's both give us up. Give me an opportunity to speak, and I will give you an opportunity to speak. I was stoned that man, you hear me? Hey, brother. And ain't that one got anything to do? I'm going to give you an opportunity. Don't pay no attention to the words going across. I'm going to give you an opportunity, and then I'm going to go. Okay? And I don't give people opportunity to speak, because this was not the topic that I came up on. Hey, brother, don't cut me off. You trying to block me off. This one, I run currency, man. You cannot shut me off loud. Anything on the internet, on the way, the most has my energy. Okay, That's I can why. cut you off That's right now. I'm going to show you I can cut you, you off loud. I'm going to show you I can cut you off. Do it. Okay, run okay, your let mouth. me say something to you run real quick. Mouth. I rebuke you in the Asha Mashiach. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and, and see who? what happens to and you. What you say? Go ahead. Who now? I rebuke you in Jesus Christ, the second coming. Go ahead. Do it. Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? The son. The son. Do it. The son of who? All right. Now, while you finding that scripture, let me say something to you. I don't know you. I don't know the woman you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know if you allow me to talk. Right brother, you know what? The scripture says, it's never interrupt a man in the midst of his speech. You right? heard that before? Shut your mouth. Shemaya, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Fuck you, man. I don't shut know up, you, up, dude. Fuck you, man. Let's go. All right, next person up. Next person up. Who want to come on? I'm bringing you back, uh, uh, mighty Hebrew. Let's go. You come back on, I'll fuck that nigga. Because I try to give him a chance. He ain't want to listen to me. So I don't know what he's talking about, and I don't even care to know what he's talking about. So if he come back, let me block his ass, because I don't know who the hell this nigga is. So bring you back on, Prince. Bring you back on. 
Hold on, I, hold on. My brother, my brother Sam got to come on real quick. He want to come on some improvement real quick. I try to get a dude a chance. He ain't want to listen. He all emotional and shit. <laughs> Look, I just want to say, I, man, don't entertain that no more, man. He messing up the whole thing, man, when it's getting good. I'm, I try to listen to that work. I'm like, yo, come on, man. This dude talking crazy. He trying to flex. I'm like, I'm hoping this nigga don't get naked in the bathroom because he closing the door peeking. I'm like, oh, Lord. Talk about you going I mean, like this? He going that's, like that's this? What I'm, I'm like, and then he talking about killing somebody. I'm like, this nigga, this nigga crazy, man. See that clown out of there, man. Don't, don't entertain that. Yeah, stuff that's, that's why I cut him off. Yeah, that's man, why I cut him off. Nitty gritty, man. Let's just get to the nitty gritty. I'm, I'm, I'm here yeah, let's, let's, let's go back to what we was talking about and we'll so, move I mean, forward. That, look, you know, just block, look, block his ass, man. You can unblock him later, man, but he's fucking up everything. It's too good right now for him, man. Yeah, block, I'm trying to talk to him. And that's, block, a, and you know what's those saying? I'm going to block please. him, but I was going to give him a chance to speak. I was like, let me yeah, talk. Yeah. You talk. He just over talk. Whatever his issues is, let him, him and Mighty Hebrew deal with that stuff. Other than that, man. Yeah, y'all deal vibe, with that man. shit. I ain't got shit to do with it. But Your right, ass is blocked. All right, Doc. Boom. He blocked. All right, there we go. He done it to himself. He had, he had a chance to be on Shalom. He had a chance to be on. All right, Chris, I'm going to bring you back. I tried to get a man a chance. The other man, that's why he want to do something to me. If you don't know, he get his, he get his goddamn crayon split. But I blocked her, too. But I ain't had nothing against, I don't have nothing against the dude. I don't even know him. I don't even know him. Hey, Prince, I'm trying to bring you back on. And this whole thing was about something else, and you see how the devil. Oh, everybody want to come on. Okay, I'm bringing you on too, brother. Let it. Go ahead. Many fifty. <laughs> Go ahead. What's up, Prince? What's up, brother? Go ahead, King. What you got to say? Nah, watching the video there. What's, what's going on, man? I mean, yeah. You had the word, I listened to everything, and I hear this guy come on. I was like, what's, what's going on here, man? What's... <laughs> the guy, what, what's... I thought you going to toss off. No, nah, man, don't even waste your time with that, man. That's, that's, that's nonsense. Not you know? Yeah. You don't even divert from the word, man. Right? Now you're taking it in and you're dealing with it. Right, I'm going to get back to the prince, man. Let's get some of that knowledge going on, man. And keep on yeah, rolling with it. And, 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 and let me hear the real thing, man. We ain't got time for that nonsense, man. The serious thing going on here. These brothers talk about pulling up. How long shall brothers act so towards each other, man? We're going we gonna, to we gonna pull up on each other all the time, kill each other all the time. Like, stop the nonsense, man. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's all, I, all I'm going to do is just try and chase everything so I can know where everybody live at the talk shit to me. That's all. But at the end of the day, um, it is where it is, man. But hey, hey bro, you got anything you want to say before I bring, about the, bring the prince back on about the topic about the uh, Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom? Nah, man, bring nah, prince man, back bring on. Let's see what we got to say. Shalom, brother. Just take it easy, man. I'm here listening to you, drinking a cup of tea, and I just want to bring on this. Hey, drink your tea, enjoy the program. And the program yeah. is on, it's not just for knowledge, but I guess for entertainment too, but for knowledge and share it, man. That's how we come no together problem. as a family. That's how we come no together problem. as a family, man. Share the video. Shout out one. Yes, sir. Shout out one. All right, Prince. Yeah. Yeah, you can play for a few. One more, one more person, Prince. One more person, Prince, bring you back on. I gotta bring my home. One more person. Yeah, this is crazy, man. I mean, we deal with so many topics, but this goes to show you. This goes to show you. Show you the ignorance in Israel because when you look at it, overall as a people, uh, just for a second, overall as a people and how we deal. The scriptures say, "Your eyes, your 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 eyes,
when it says when it says by the wayside, the the wayside they try to get under the wing, and that's what he did. And that's what he did. And and that's what he did. All I want to say was that shit was funny. Yeah, 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 that shit was funny. My man was showing off his biceps and everything, boy. Flex. <laughs> Sit your ass down, big bro. What the hell you think you're doing? <laughs> there you go, son. You know what I mean? My man, my man looked like this. Damn, broke 50 cents, man. I don't know, man. But yeah, man, keep doing what y'all doing. I need to be watching. I'm over here chilling right now. <laughs> Get that he out, man. I don't blame him. He said he was out. All right, hold on. 